seems uh, yeah. you've become a frequent guest up here with us, and uh, it seems that your role is increasing on this team. How does it feel to maybe be kind of coming into your own after some time here at Mississippi State? It feels great. I mean, all that hard work is finally paying off, and I'm just happy to reach the point where I can make more of an impact. Seems like you got, I know all you got a lot on your plate, but with you specifically, you're a guy that, that could probably start at guard, but if you're needed at, at right tackle or somewhere like that, it, it's nothing for you to slide back out. How much does that add to your plate, or is that normal for you because you've done it all for four now? Um, it's it's a little bit normal, but it, it's good to have because you know the more positions you can play, obviously, the more value you can bring to the table. How have you, I mean, obviously you got a lot of new transfers in here on that offensive line. How have you kind of, you're one of the, the few guys that were held over. How have you bonded with that group? Well, we bonded very well considering we came in from basically everywhere. You know, a bunch of guys left, a bunch of guys came in, but we, we've been doing well. How would you kind of characterize Coach Kennedy's message to you guys throughout the time that he's been here? Just the three main things, effort, physicality, and execution. He just keeps hammering those down each practice. Because today, you know, it was very hot. Everybody was tired, so we just kept kept going, even though we weren't feeling as fresh as, say, day one. Have you had a chance to really kind of see some of those younger guys and how they're handling the first few days of practice and, you know, maybe give them a word of advice or anything like that? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Luke stepped up big time. You know, Jim and Theo, both of our new tackles are coming along. They're they're learning quickly for freshmen, but they're just going to keep getting better. How is uh, Ethan Miner handling that kind of being the quarterback of the line and having to make all the calls? How is he kind of – I know it's nothing new for him, but how is he – you feel like he's done with that role here? He's doing a great job. I mean, it's no easy task to do what he does. You know, the center mentally is definitely the hardest position on the field, on the O-line, so he's taking it well considering. What's communication like whenever you're you're by a guy like that with the offensive lineman uh, with the center specifically? And what, what's y'all's communication like in a game situation? Well, just like today, we repped a lot of game situations, and it, it was good. You know, everybody was talking. There weren't any quiet moments where – you know, the defense moving around and whatnot, and guys weren't saying anything. Everybody got their point across. There's some guys that have caught your attention or given you some pretty good battles across the across the line on defense. Uh, definitely Brandon Jennings. He, he's fast. Uh, Monte, he's good with his hands. He's always you know, making me be good with my hands, which is a good thing to bring to my game. We talked to uh, Blake Chapin at Media Days, and he, he mentioned just how important it was for him to have that relationship with his offensive line, took you guys out to dinner. What What is y'all's relationship like with him? Well, we love him just like a brother. I mean, communication's great. You know, he, did, he took us out for dinner. It's just a bunch of good guys hanging out. How could you let Grant win the chicken wing feeding contest? I don't know. That was an off day. <laughs> he might be lying, though, too. I wasn't paying too much attention. <laughs>